Hi, hi, hi. I've stolen Hubby's workshop again. <laughs> it's great. Right. A lot of people have been asking about our, um, what you call them, Richard flycatchers, I suppose, for around the chicken pen and fly trap. Yeah, it's, that's a good one. So they are so quick, so easy, and they probably cost, what, 30 pence maybe to make, if that, you know? So you need an empty bottle. You can use a bottle of any size. This is a two litre water bottle. You're going to need a knife to cut it. Um, obviously, you're going to need your string to hang it up with and chicken. Now, I didn't want to bring chicken, raw chicken, into the workshop. So, what I've done is I've got a piece of masking tape. So, this is my chicken. Okay? <laughs> Daft, I know. Raw chicken breast. Any, well, any raw chicken will do. Um, was it mincemeat we tried last year? Um, they did not work really well at all, did they? And they were awful to dispose of, but the, chi the ones with the chicken breast in work amazingly. Now, I have actually been told a bit of dog poop in there, mixed with, the, with some water, will do the job. Personally, I don't think Richard wants to be going around the garden picking up dog poop to put in a bottle. <laughs> it's a big no. So we're going to stick with the chicken breast, okay? So as I said, raw chicken, I don't want to be carrying it around and putting it in workshops and that. So, well, yeah, in Richard's workshop. So as I said, just for now, just to show you how to do it, I'm using a bit of rolled up masking tape, okay? And you're going to need some water. So what I'm going to do is, because my hands don't work that great, I'm going to ask my darling cubby to come over and show you how we make them thank you my darling right you don't um we tend to use a marker just to mark how far down we're going to cut them but you don't have to so if you say because these have got rings and if you come down to the third ring say these are absolutely brilliant once the way they work once the fly gets in they can't seem to find their way out and I mean the one we've uh, one of them that we've had outside for what two weeks, maybe it's got to be ten thousand bloody. I mean it's just horrendous. I mean in this in this heat, once a fly lays eggs, it can take the eggs can take a few hours to turn into maggots, and those maggots really really quickly. I think it's within twenty four hours can then turn into flies, can't they? It's, it doesn't matter how fast you pick up after your chickens. It, oh God, it's it's just horrendous. So this is the perfect. Now be really careful with this because obviously it's so easy to slice your fingers. Yeah, so obviously take off the lid. Could you cut the ring off as well, darling, please? I like to cut the rings off uh, because when you dispose of this, if it does, you know, in the landfill, get knocked off um, the bottle. It can actually create a lot of problems with wildlife, birds getting stuck around their beaks, necks. It's not a nice way to go, to be honest. So, thank you very much. So, basically, so we've got the bottom of our bottle. So, could I have the chicken, please? <laughs> or the chicken substitute in this case. So, we've got the fake chicken in there. So, if you put the top piece, Turn it upside down and push it. Can you push that down for me, please, Rich? Yep. Is that on properly? There you go. No, no. I think that's okay. There is a bit of a, a what's it there? It's yeah, I've crushed in it. <laughs> yeah, pull it up just a bit, I think. Right. Yep. So what you're going to need now, you're going to need to put a hole through both sides. So you've got to make sure it goes through both pieces of plastic. Again, watch your fingers when you're doing this. Yeah, about an inch, yeah. That's gone both, has that gone through both pieces? And then if you do it on the opposite side as well, please. That's it, use an old pencil. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I never thought about that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Right. 
and then basically see we've got some paracord now with the paracord um where's that other piece gone that i had that that, that we had earlier if if you've got normal household string just use that um it will hold no not that piece um but if you could cut that for me to show when you cut paracord uh it will oh there's that piece there look as you can see it's uh it frays look so all you've got to do if you are using a bit of paracord just use a lighter and just carefully without burning yourselves or setting fire to anything just burn the end just so it goes hard and then it will stop it from fraying once you've got it in which is what I've already got done with these with this here and if is that picking up on camera I think so I'm not sure so yeah whatever that is in English Hubby's the scout leader so he, he knows all his knots and everything I haven't got a clue they're all called different things So, yeah. And you can hang these wherever your chickens are. Um, I think we've got, because we've got the big adult coop and pen run um, and the baby one. I think we've got three. And then you literally, see, could you put about three inches of water in that? Yeah, about three inches. And that is your fly catcher and give it what 24 hours especially in this here you might even need that for the chicken to start going off i mean these are absolutely brilliant like i said they cost maybe 30 pence at the very most uh what well, this was the bottle i think the bottle of water was like 17 pence from like aldi or tesco's or somewhere like that um many other shops about and just a bit of all, a bit, just a bit of chicken breast from your kitchen, and you only need what maybe two square inches at the very most cut up into just cut it up, or you just stick it in as it is, I suppose. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm gonna cut now to well, Richard's gonna cut because he edits this for me as well, bless him, because the computers don't get on. <laughs> um, well, yeah, what I'll do is we'll actually show you the one that we've got hanging up outside in the chickens and you can see just how effective and it's been how long has that one been up two weeks so yeah they've been up a couple of weeks and they're pretty much ready to be changed so thank you very much guys love to you all everybody take care especially in this heat so stay safe and i'll see you soon bye